Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be testing the tool holders and inserts that Randy Richard gave me. Uh, one is a facing tool, this one here, and the other is a turning tool. Uh, the difference between the two, uh, this one's coated, of course, this is uncoated, but this one is concentric all the way around, where this one has an additional step in the back. I don't know if you could see that, but um, this one I couldn't use for facing. I don't think it would leave a very good finish. This one's the same, and I think it's going to produce uh, a pretty decent finish. So we're going to do some facing first, and then some turning. Um, I'm going to test it on a piece of 17-4 precipitation hardened uh, stainless steel. It's about an inch and a quarter bar. So let me get set up for the facing tool and we'll make a couple cuts. The first cut we're going to make is going to be a facing cut. It's a 5 8 tool holder with an uncoated uh, carbide insert. We're going to turn at 460 RPM and we're going to feed in just slightly over 2 thou per revolution. So uh, let's get our zero and um, I think we're going to take a 10 thousandths depth of cut on our first pass. So here we go. We'll make that our zero. I mean, 10, 10 thou, here we go. Looking pretty good so far. It's cutting a long stringy chip, so we could probably push it harder to break that chip, but I'm liking the finish so far, it's looking good. Okay, I'll take the camera down and we'll get a, a shot of that surface finish. That surface finish is perfect. I don't know if this shot is going to do it any justice, but let me try to steady it here. It's looking real good. That was a 10 thousandths depth of cut, feeding in about 2 thou per revolution at 460 RPM. So let's do the same exact thing except take 20 thou. Okay, we're all set up. I got a 20 thou in, 460 RPM, uh, 20 thou depth of cut, 2000 per revolution feed. Here we go. Looking good, I'll take you in and show you that surface finish. Very similar results, perfect finish. You can see the reflection of my uh, hand in there. It's looking good, man. Randy, I think you got a winner here, buddy. Looks great. Okay, so let's go to uh, 30 thou depth of cut, same speed. Okay, we got 30 thousandths depth, 460 RPM, same feed rate. Looking 
looking good, man. Looking real good. It's cutting a long stringy chip. Breaking about every couple feet, I guess. Man, that looks great. Well, I take you in for a close-up, but it looks just as good as all the other ones. But I'll bring you in anyway. There you go, man. Perfect finish. I don't think we can get a better finish than that. Looks great, man. Okay, um, we're going to do a uh, 20 thou depth of cut. The only thing we're going to change is we're going to bring the speed up to 755 RPM. So let me get set back up for that. Okay, let's get our zero. 755 RPM. We'll go 20 thou. Let me get the zero out. Twenty thou. bring you in. I didn't think that surface finish could get any better, but um, I was wrong. It's actually a little better. A little shinier, a little smoother. Look at that. There's a reflection of my finger in there. You know what? That's, that's pretty nice. That was 755 RPM, 2000 per revolution. I think it's a keeper, man. Okay, let's uh, let's move to the uh, turning tool. Okay, I got the turning tool in here. Uh, we're gonna go. Let's go back to 460 RPM. Um, we're a little over a 2,000 speed rate per revolution. Um, we'll go. Um, we'll uh, zero off and we'll go in 10 thou at 460 RPM. There's our zero. We'll go ten thou. Little slow, but it's gonna I it's gonna leave a nice finish, I can tell already. We could probably feed it a little quicker than that. Oh, the surface finish is beautiful. Look at that. Uh, that was, yeah, that was about a 2,000 feet per rev. Let's, uh, let's go to 3,000. Feet a little quicker. And we'll take a 20,000 bite this time. We'll take a 20,000 depth of cut. Alright, there's our zero. 20,000. And that looks good. Tiny bit better surface finish it looks like.
Man, I'll tell you what, that surface finish is perfect. That's, that's absolutely perfect. All right, let's uh, bring our speed up to 755 uh, and go another 20 thou. Let's get rid of some of this. Oh, sorry, knocked the stand. All right. Okay, I think that's our zero. Let me make sure. Yeah, there, there's our zero. So let's go 20 thou. 20 thou D, 750 RPM. 755. Just as good, man. Just as good. Got a little chatter right there when I left off the feed, but that's normal because it was up against that shoulder. Okay, so let's go uh, 30 thou deep, 755 RPM. Same feed rate. It's 3,000 3, per revolution. Get our zero again. Okay, 20, 30. 30 thou, no lube. 755. All right, I'll bring you in real close. Every single one of them passes yield at the same results. Perfect finish. Look at that. You can see my reflection in there. The only thing is it makes a long stringy chip. But I got to tell you, uh, when I was making the hammer out of the same exact material, no matter which insert I used, even um, high-speed steel, I had a long stringy chip. It just must be the nature of the 17.4 pH. So that was the turning tool. Uh, Randy, I'd be awful proud of these. I'm going to be using these on this material all the time now. Perfect finish, facing, and turning. You got a winner here, bud. And I got a generous supply of insert, so I'll be good for a while, man. So there you go, man. Positive results. I like it. See you next time.